Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video you are going to learn how to process data from a Postgres table in real time using Apache Flink Postgres CDC connector. Meaning anytime an insert update are happening on a Postgres table we are processing real time using Flink and of course using Python. So without wasting any further time let's get started. So these are all hands-on exercise so the notebooks are, are given to you so make sure to try uh, these labs out so let's get started uh, if you're using a mac os uh, use this particular docker compose file and if you're using a windows you can use this particular docker compose file uh, just an fyi in case if you uh, are looking how to install apache flink uh, python you know on your computer and how to get uh, started with it the first video i discussed and talked about the installation guide so make sure to check the video out all right, so I am on a Mac. I will copy this particular Docker file. And now I will head over to my code editor, paste uh, the, the, the code over here. And now I will spin up my uh, Postgres database by specifying the word Docker, compose up hyphen hyphen build. Now, once you have your Postgres database running locally, either on Mac or Windows, doesn't really matter, or on cloud, uh, which might be Aurora, now the next step is what we need to do is we need to create a sample table called shipment and we're going to insert some fake data into it after that we're going to see the flink code okay uh, now since i have my postgres running locally on a docker container now we need to create a sample table so we can play with so the commands are again given here this is going to create a table called shipment and it's going to insert some fake data so let's go to a tool called pg admin and insert these commands into the code editor so first i'm going to create the table uh, over here and the query was successful and now basically i'm gonna uh, 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 fire an alter table so this is basically gonna as you can see set the replica identity for the shipment table to full which allows the the replica tables to store full row values this again this is important uh, because uh, if you want to use your postgres cdc uh, connector in flink you need to uh, uh, fire this command so i'm gonna Fire this command as you can see that that was successful and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert some dummy data into that table okay so copy that over here and as you can see that command was successful now i can quickly show you the data select everything from and i just need to do a refresh over here and just drag this one here all right as you can see, I do have some uh, data to play with. Now, let me show you the Flink part, how we can uh, read the data in Apache Flink Python. Uh, and then how, uh, you know, uh, anytime you make any changes, real time, these changes are being reflected. So let me show you that particular process. So let's take a look at the code now. Uh, sharing my screen. Uh, code is pretty straightforward. Here we create a table environment, which is in a streaming mode. After that, we load these three jar files. These three jar files, you can find it on Google. Just type the name and uh, type the word Maven and you should be able to get the jar files. If not, I'll provide you the links. Once uh, you know you have these jar files, I load the jar file by specifying table and environment.getconfig.getconfiguration. .get configuration. I set the key pipeline.jars by specifying a value of the path of a jar um, separated by a semicolon. After that, pretty straightforward, right? We create a, a table called shipment, right? We have these particular keys or columns in our database. We use the Postgres CDC connector. We specify the host, port, username, password, the database name, the schema name, uh, the table name. Now these two parameters are important. That is the slot name and the decodable plugin name, which is set to PG out. Uh, these are not given on the documentation, but if you don't put these two configurations, uh, it's probably gonna error out. Now let's see the entire code, right? So I pasted all the code over here and I'm gonna run it over here, right? So let me run this. As you can see, uh, we are seeing data, right? Uh, it's a streaming job, which means uh, anytime we make any changes, we're gonna see all these happening real time. So now what I'm gonna do is let me just uh, put it here. So now I'm gonna make this change and you will see this change appearing over here real time, all right? So I'm gonna come to Beijing, add a star star and click on save. And here you can see we are seeing that change flowing uh, here uh, real time. 
right? So you see how easy it becomes, right? All we did is basically create a table environment uh, in a streaming mode. We used a Postgres CDC connector. We created a sync object, and then we are just doing a select start from the table. Now you can insert this into a transactional data like such as Apache Hoodie. Uh, you can uh, combine multiple tables, join them, aggregate them, build a view, uh, you know, uh, as needed, right? So I hope these tutorials are helping you guys out. Um, I'll leave all the resources in the description section below. So make sure to check that out and make sure to try them out uh, because the best way to learn anything is to try things out. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to be seeing you in the next upcoming video.